What is happening to the collective today? I don't know why I always have to sing. Like, I used to, when I started the readings, I would be like, oh, great. And I would like sing the sigh. I'm like, why do I always sing? I don't know why. It just comes, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> if you're wondering, Whitney, why do you sing all the time? No, it's not because I think my voice is amazing. No, it's not because I'm trying to get a recording contract. And no, it's clearly not for popularity. I don't know why I do it. Okay. <clears throat> I was thinking about these cards yesterday for some reason. Hush Tarot. And uh, we're going to use that today because I think a pretty... Maybe like an intense reading is coming through. I don't really know. I mean, it's usually an intense reading all the time. So. I painted 300 mushrooms around my apartment yesterday. I'm, I think there's over 300. It's like a border. It actually kind of looks like... Um, the way that I did it, see at the bottom here, like I did it kind of like, uh, it almost looks like I wrapped the whole house in like, um, what do you call that stuff? Like wallpaper looks like a, looks like a border, you know, but it's not cause every, every single inch of it is different. I spent fucking four hours doing it yesterday in my house, like painting my house. It's so funny. It looks so good though. So I'm covered in fungi. <laughs> oh, I was like, man, the next people who move into this place are going to be like, are you guys like shroom dealers? And for like a couple years, I dealt shrooms. These mushrooms from BC. Oh my God. They were the best. I got a pound of them. I don't, I don't even know how it happened. Somebody just basically gave them to me. So I just started giving them to everybody else. Like I was like, here, do you want some? Do you want some? This was like 10 years ago. Oh my, it changed my life. Like mushrooms changed my life. In a really awesome way. Okay, we got Fire and Trickster. We got Frankenstein and It. Ooh, you know how pissed off Frankenstein gets, eh? Then he falls in love with a girl. All these town people come after him. And then Trickster, It um, loves to just kill children, right? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm pretty sure he goes just after children. Huh. I just got this really weird message that like somebody could be saying that they're in love with a child. You don't know what love is. I'm in love. And now I'm getting, um, you know, that guy who died from, uh, fast and the furious Sean, is it Sean Walker or something like that? Um, nobody said it because nobody would, but that guy like loved dating 17 year olds. It was like his thing to do was, was date girls that were just about to turn 18. Like, Ooh, he was crazy. Gross. Every girl thought he was so attractive. Oh, he's so hot. Yeah, and you wanted to be a 16-year-old girlfriend while he was fucking 35. And he had, like, an older daughter, too. So he was, like, basically dating chicks that were almost as old as his daughter. Like, nobody talked about it, though. There's Children of the Night. Oh, my God! Children of the Night and the Blair Witch. What happened to the Blair Witch Project? That old man, that hermit that lives in the woods, takes the kids into, a, into the woods. And that's basically, I think what they're saying with the whole, they, the Blair Witch possessed the man in the woods to steal the children and kill them. And he stole the children in two, made one face into the wall, and then he would go back and kill that one afterwards. And then with the Children of the Night, that's Dracula that's Dracula taking all of the children and it's basically it's you know because he just does that massacre all in one night I don't know if it's all to do with children I mean those are his demon buddies the bunch of wolves children of the night like I want to say that's taking children in the night and like I'm pretty sure this hermit 
in the Blair Witch, old Mr. Potter, um, he would have been doing almost that same kind of thing, right? Like either taking them when they were exploring in the woods or taking them from the hometown. And I, I mean, it does the same thing. It kidnaps children in the middle of the town in broad daylight. Like, I'm almost thinking that, like, maybe this is... Okay, so I was watching this video. Well, I didn't watch it. It came up on YouTube, and I, like, went past it. I didn't watch it, but it was uh, the state... The, the video name was Man Finds Himself on Missing Child Poster. And it gave me the chills and a half because that meant that he was stolen at a young age and raised by his captors. And some people don't know that they've been kidnapped. They have no idea, right? Um, oh my God. I'm almost feeling like almost like bodies of children are going to start being found or something or like some yeah like something's being shut down and you know what video keeps popping up like when I go onto my page um my videos pop up like the way that my page is set up or whatever and the the this video that I did um not too long ago it's like it's called like child porn ring shut down it keeps being the top move for the, I call these things movies because I swear they are, um, but based on true events and facts. Um, but I, it keeps popping up over and over and over again. And I'm like this child porn ring, this child porn ring. And then I'm thinking, okay, so then there's, now I'm getting prisoners. That man took those children with his wife, right? And uh, he, he would fall in love with some of the boys and then keep them. He would keep them. Ten of Wands. See, look at, see how she's like hiding. I don't know if you can see, but she's hiding inside the body of the cat. Okay. She's hiding inside of the body of the cat. Um, it's like somebody's been hiding, hiding somebody in plain sight. And, you know, I did watch this other video of this woman. She stops at a gas station. Her 12 year old goes into the bathroom with her six year old. The 12 year old comes out. And the six-year-old's not there. And the mom's like, where the fuck is your sister? Probably didn't say fuck, but she's like, I don't know. I thought she was out here. Mom rushes into the bathroom and she kicks all the store stall doors open. She finds her daughter, her daughter, the mouth, um, cause she can hear somebody like, Whoa, right? kicks in the door. And the, she had only been in there for less than five minutes. And this person had shaved this little girl's head already and had her in boy clothes, ready to walk out with a little boy. And if it, it took, it takes, it, it takes seconds. It takes, honestly, she probably had her head shaved and an in, in boy clothes in about two and a half minutes in the bathroom. I don't know how anybody didn't hear it. Like obviously her sister wasn't paying attention or that she shaved her head just in that amount of time that the sister left. I mean, she obviously didn't do a good job. Right. But that's not the point. It's like somebody's like been hiding somebody in plain sight or something. And I keep watching, these videos keep popping up of like these, these neighbors that are noticing something wrong and they call 911 and then 911 comes and they bust down the door and somebody has been held captive, right? Or, uh, somebody is like a child on the verge of death. So mom finally calls 911, flees the scene. And the parents realize that the child's emancipated, um, underweight, about to die, bug bites all over them. Right. And then the parent gets, gets arrested for neglect. It's like, I feel like something is going to happen with somebody like, like the hiding has been long enough because it's at the 10, which means something can't be hidden anymore. Right. It's like, um, it comes out every 27 years, right? He can only feed every 27 years. It's something like that. These people can only do what they're doing for so long until like the universe is like, you, you can't do this anymore. You have to stop. Like you can't just come in and steal children. You can't just come in and kidnap. You can't just come in and take the law by its hands and, and just take the vulnerable. Like you, you're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to steal. Right. But people just do it because they fucking want to. So there is the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Wands with the Ten of Cups. With the Nine of Swords. So somebody, like, 
somebody's, I don't know if they were stolen from their family or something like that. And um, now they're coming back with this Knight of Pentacles. This has been a really slow process because again, like it takes police a long time to get evidence ready, especially in the States. Like the, the privacy laws and the property laws that people have in the States um, forbid cops to even come onto their property. It's ridiculous. Like people should not have that many rights. Like, holy fuck. I mean, and then they just want more and more and more. Yeah. So then you guys don't get busted on shit. That's why you want more rights, right? Parents feel like they deserve more rights. Um, children activists feel like they want more rights. Two of Wands in reverse. So this has been um, at a crossroads for a bit, okay? Like somebody has definitely been trying to, oh my gosh, there it is. Um, eight, eight of Pentacles and then look at, there's the devil right there. Page of Cups with the Two of Pentacles. I think that this has costed somebody a little bit of money. Uh, and you know, when I was, uh, the movie I was thinking about the other day too, was uh, human trafficking. Uh, this movie that was done a really long time ago with, uh, Rumi and Michelle, you know, Rumi, uh, she's in it. And, um, it's about this girl. Uh, she's 16 years old and she, this is overseas in Europe. And, um, she goes against her father's will and she gets this like modeling contract, but it's not a modeling contract. It's how they steal little girls. It's how they steal girls and then get, they get them out. Um, they get them out of the cities right away and then they bring them to the States, right? That's how it's all about human trafficking. And I feel like maybe, maybe this is what's happening. Like it's like human trafficking or something like that, or like children being killed or something and, or being hidden in plain sight. And now it's like, somebody's going to be found, you know, like they've been working really hard to either find you or to find somebody and you're going to find them. There's the wheel of fortune. Oh my gosh. With the three of swords and the three of pentacles. It's like somebody has been working really hard with a team. Okay. This has costed them a lot, but this has hurt them a lot. Like they might've uncovered a lot of other things while on this investigation to find you, you know, or you might've found out a lot of other things while trying to find somebody right? And it's been really uh, hard to find out the things that you do because in the movie too, uh, the little girl's father, well, she's not a little girl, she's 16. Um, he has to, he, he finds things out. He has to basically disguise himself and put himself in with this trafficking ring. And he goes in as kind of like security. And then he has to do these jobs and like, he has to get in with this ring so then he can find out where his daughter is. And he sees little girls get raped. Like he sees the worst things in the world. And he just has to sit there and you can see it just eating him alive but the whole if he starts to just save the girls right away he'll never get to his daughter he has to wait until the right time and then he finally lines up with his daughter oh my god i could only imagine you know like it's kind of along the lines of like taken as well but taken the movie taken with liam nelson is like a pg version of human trafficking the movie it really is Like it really is the PG version of human trafficking because human trafficking you'll watch it once and you will never want to watch it again it's like midnight express one time one time only you never watch it again fuck that that shit scares me way too much wow now the three of wands three of cups three of swords three of wands now, what do you think the odds of that are? Three, three, three. It's like it's taking a third party to get to you. You know, like this third, yeah, this, because it would be a third party because there's you involved and then there's you who's trying to find you or a vice versa. And then the police organization would be the third party. It seems like this third party, because that's, that's a lot of what it is with finding a person is getting connections. Like in human trafficking, he has to start building connections with trafficking rings so he can find his daughter. It's like somebody has been investigating something, trying to get into something so then they can find out the right information and they can talk to the right people to get to the right place, to get to whatever it is that they need to find, whatever, wherever these children, are
Like someone's stealing children. So we have the two of swords, the two of wands, and the two of pentacles. Now we've got two, two, two. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 So, okay. So what I'm reading on the bottom of the deck here is somebody is independently wealthy. Okay. That's obviously it's who's doing this is somebody with a lot of money, a lot of power. But the thing is, is that power gets taken away from them and very soon. Okay. Once they get found out about what they've been doing and then they start to pray. Oh, now you start to pray because you want all your sins to fade away and you want to get um, off on good behavior. Or you don't want to have to do your time. And then a lot of people think if they've got money, they don't have to do any time. Like they can just buy their way out of it. But what the court systems are starting to like slowly pick up on is the fact that now once one person does it, everybody wants to do it because a lot of people have money. Right. And then once they buy themselves out one time, then they continually try to buy themselves out and the cops have to stop it at one point. They can't just let somebody away, especially when the public knows. I mean, you can only hide so much, right? Seven of Pentacles in reverse with temperance in reverse. So I believe this person is going to lose majority of their money now right? Um, their finances are going to go in the drain because people are not going to want to work with them, right? Once, once they get labeled and like, this was like somebody in my community, um, he got arrested, um, for child pornography. And, uh, I think they're trying to get it on distribution because he was, uh, sending it out to people. Um, and, uh, according to his brother, it was an innocent thing and his brother didn't do anything wrong. And he only got like six months. Um, so it was like a, a, like almost like a misdemeanor it turned into. And, but because they live in such a small town, um, the whole town, like he's, he's, he's blackballed basically now. And people that knew him for years and years and years turn their back on him. And, um, you know, I don't know what this guy's done or if it was innocent or if it wasn't innocent. I don't know because he, I don't know the full story and I don't know if the person who's telling the story is just doing it because it's his brother and he wants to make his brother look better. I don't know. Only the people who are engaged in that know what they're doing and people aren't dumb, even though they act dumb. Right. You can act dumb, play dumb. And people just are like, Oh, look at that idiot. And it's like, it's all, it's all a mask. It's just, they're playing dumb because that's what they want. They want you to think that they have no idea that you have no idea that they know anything that's going on. Right. Yeah. My sister just dropped something. That's kind of like a confirmation there. So I don't know, maybe something like that. Somebody saying that they love children and they would never hurt children. And you find a whole bunch of shit on their fucking computer. You know, and that's where this, this is what happened with this guy. Everything was on his computer. And I mean, when, like, from what I've heard, you can never fully delete anything from either a computer or a phone. It holds it in the phone. There is nowhere for it to go. It doesn't, it doesn't get deleted. There, there's not, there, things just don't get deleted. People, people are so funny when they think that they can make these documents and stuff and it's, it's on a hard drive and they can actually delete it. And I'm thinking like, where do you think it's going to go? Do you think there's this trash monster that comes in and just tears the paper away? Like, no, there's a fucking paper trail all the time. Like any crime scene investigation story will show you that like oh yeah the the plaintiff uh, deleted his entire hard drive and all we had to do was just call our super nerds in and uh nerd squad geek squad and uh get that shit all re-downloaded because it has, hasn't got anywhere and that idiot thinks that he actually deleted files that are in a computer log base <laughs> that can't physically be deleted right they're just taken off of your hard drive that's all it is when they don't take up space but they're still in the internal hard drive of the computer or the phone right so um you gotta think of like something like that where it's like if somebody is doing something then you might have to creep their shit 
Maybe that's what's, maybe that's what somebody's paying to do. Maybe they're paying somebody to get into somebody's systems to see what they're doing, right? To see if they've got child porn on their phone or if they're, they're, you know, uh, downloading it or if they're looking at it or if they're, um, searching it, right? Like if you search a naughty word in Google, you get tracked. Like it's the way that the fucking, what do you, what would you even call that? The secret society of the government does. I don't think we have CIA, CIA. Yeah, that's what it is. I don't think we have those bastards in Canada. I think that, I think that's a state's thing. I don't know what we have here. I, we don't have FBI. We have SWAT. We don't have feds here. We don't have federalities. <laughs> I don't know what we have. Army? We have a lot of army. And SWAT. Tactical team. Tactical force. And we obviously have Navy. Where am I going with this? I don't even know where I'm going with this. What are we at? 20 minutes? 21 minutes? Um, okay. So let's see. We're getting massively off topic and I can feel it. Mm -hmm. Witch. Feminine energy. Well, you know what? Honestly, I think this witch has uncovered what's going on. Right? Like someone's been taking something that they're not supposed to be taking. Right. And, uh, there, they could be poisoning people and, um, someone's on their way to figuring it out. You know, we've got the Dana Scully card and that's Dana wants facts. You know, that Dana does not go off of her gut instinct. She does not go off of even what Mulder is saying. She has to figure out the science. She has to see, and get everything collected and diagnose the evidence for herself. You can't just convince her of something. So the way that I see this is I, I feel like somebody's been knowing that something's been going on and they needed the facts. They had to get everything in order, which is why I do feel like maybe the cops are taking somebody down this week. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to stay tuned for the news. Like, it seems like, it seems like they are right on target with something that's poisoning something. And all they had to do was just get their facts together, which was the help of this person who initially called it in. So I don't know if maybe somebody called in facts to like a crime uh, stoppers thing. Um, hey, my neighbor is abusing their children or, uh, you know, like there was this house busted not too long ago with like 40 people living in it in the basement, all immigrants, right? I'm pretty sure they were all illegal immigrants. And um, saying, you know, this person saying that they're doing a good job, they're housing all these people, but that's not a good job. Those people can't be there. Like, like um, things are going to infest and the house started getting all nasty and it starts to smell. And like, you can't have 40 people in a fucking little bungalow basement, man. Like, that's not the way that shit works. Like you, like it's, 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 it's like, it's just bad altogether. It's bad for the environment. It's bad for those people. They need to get in. They need to start working. They need to get the right paperwork. Like they can't just be stealing things and, and trying to find cash jobs and robbing people like to stay in somebody's country like what the fuck is that about right so maybe it's just one of those things where you know a friendly neighbor calls in a tip and that tip you know it leads investigators to go down this road but they have to get their evidence they have to surveillance right they have to get on it and they have to see who's lying you know like people are lying and people you watch any show like I mean, it really sucks because people won't tell the truth. And because people won't tell the truth, we have backed up court systems. If people were to just tell the truth and be like, yo, I did it. Give me my fucking sentence and just go out like a man. Our court systems wouldn't be years backed up to everybody appealing, you know, because they did something and now they don't want to have to pay the price for it. Right. Uh, backing up our court systems, even though there's evidence up the yin yang, they just want a couple more years. Right. To just be out on bail like fucking losers he didn't even go to class bueller Ooh, we got pandora's box with shark on peace pipe warlock so look at that we've got a witch and a warlock on the table so it's like somebody has opened up the door to something that has been lurking like there's been a predator lurking in, in the dark and he's been exposed now or she has been exposed like the light has been turned on for this person and you know they live in their best life they out there they're fucking doing their thing 
but they're passing around what they're passing around is hate they're passing around murder they're passing around vulnerable people that are not supposed to be used like an express machine okay like these are people's lives that are at stake here so that's why there's a there's a team this is the tactical team of magical men that are going to come in and get these people to safety that's how i feel Hmm. Okay. Well, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, the advice here is just to chill, uh, know that things are in the air and they're happening and they're, um, transforming and people are going to get caught. We've got the devil, the devil, <laughs> we've got the devil, uh, Capricorn energy with Sagittarius energy. Those are back to back signs, obviously. So something is like back to back. Um, yeah, somebody's trying to spin the truth, you know, like, and really they're just spinning themselves a fucking into a web of lies. I am still getting prisoners, like, <clears throat> the movie, Jake Gyllenhaal, um, like, someone's been kidnapping kids and killing them. And I mean, this could be, like, uh, in another dimension, too, you know, like, this could be somebody you know, and your family has a lot of family members in it, okay? I'm talking, like, you know, based off of your grandmother has, like, seven or eight brothers and sisters and then they all had kids so now we're talking you know eight people uh they all get married and have kids and each person has had two or three kids and you're looking at about 16 grandkids right there right and then all those kids have kids right sometimes sometimes by third generation uh grandkids stop it's really funny to see how uh, one generation can just remove half of its population within 20 years by not having kids. It's messed up, right? So yeah, maybe the whole point of this family being so big is because somebody has been taking the lives of all of those children. Right. Forcing their family members to have children in extreme situations so then they can feed off the children. Also makes sense. Hmm. Anyways, uh, we're going to end this. Thanks for watching. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Hmm. Whose voice was that? <laughs> wow. Um, personal readings, Whitney Moonshine at gmail.com. Monthly subscriptions for ninety nine. And um uh, email Whitney Moonshine at gmail dot com. I don't know if I said that or not, but that's my email. You can always uh message me. Irene does all the time. She just messages me to talk. People sometimes message me just to talk. It's not just about readings, trust me. It's never just about the readings. <laughs> Um, yeah, peace out, A Town. Booyah.